Maple Tree Cancer Alliance teaches people with cancer how to feed their soul to beat cancer. Dr. Karen Wonders is the founder, and you say there are things you can make for Christmas that are yummy but really healthy at the same time. Yeah, you know, you can you can have your cake and eat it too, <laughs> literally. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is a chocolate peppermint cake, so you can eat the the chocolate and without having to feel really guilty about it. It looks gorgeous. How do we get started? Okay, so what we're going to do is throw all the dry ingredients in first. Okay. And so right here we have a mixture of oat flour and baking stevia, um, which you can use that or you can substitute any kind of you know baking sweetener that you're happy with. Oat flour better than regular flour? Well, for people who are sensitive to gluten, it's uh -huh. a good choice to have. Um, so that way you don't have all the, the gluten. Sometimes gluten can make you more fatigued mm -hmm. and a little puffy and that's not really how you want to feel for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of protein powder here. Um, if you don't have any protein powder on hand, you can substitute the oat flour and just add a little bit more of that. That's totally fine. And then baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And then the last thing is um, unsweetened cocoa powder. So that'll give it the chocolate fl flavor that we're looking for. Okay. So those are all the dry ingredients. You just throw those in. And then next we move on to the wet ingredients. And you just kind of, while this is mixing, you just kind of throw it all in together. So here I can. I can yeah, we'll just pop it on and then we'll start talking about the wet ingredients. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, you just turn it that way. There we go. All right. So, oh, I like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, cool. it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so, I'm just going to put in about a cup of almond milk, which is good for people who can't handle a lot of dairy. It's uh -huh. a good alternative for them. Um, surprisingly, there's a little bit of vinegar in this. Really? Um, or just a little bit. Just a little touch. And then two eggs. Okay. I'm just going to throw those in one at a time. Is that it? Um, and then the last ingredient is, instead of putting oil in it, we're just going to use some, um, some plain Greek yogurt. And that way it'll help, it, um, help with the protein. It'll increase the amount of protein that's in there. I love it. All right. We're going to take a break. We're going to keep mixing this up, and then we'll finish it off. Okay. And we'll talk about uh, maple tree as well. Okay. Sounds good.